Right, you guys, going to have a quick virtual box uh, video here for you. This one's on how to convert all your hard drive file types. For instance, if you want to convert VDI to VHD, then this video is for you. So let's have a quick look at how we do it. It's pretty simple. Open up your Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. Once you've got this open, you want to go up to File, then uh, Virtual Media Manager. Click on that, and now you can select which version you want to convert. So, for instance, if you want to convert the VDI version of Windows 7, we're going to convert that. I'm going to go Copy, and then we're going to go Next. And here you've got your hard drive file types. You can see here uh, we've got VDI, uh, VMDK, we've got VHD. So we're just going to do the VHD version here. But you can change it to whatever you like and then go Next. And then you can select which you want to set it up to. I'll just leave this to Dynamic. And uh, we're just going to leave this as a copy version here. But you can name it what you want and then copy that. And that will start to clone the drive media and put it over to a VHD version as you can see here okay okay once that's been completed you won't see it listed here what you need to do is click close then you want to go to your user account and inside there you will see a box called uh, VirtualBox VMs go in there and then inside the Windows 7 because that's where we created it and there you can see there is our copy of our Windows 7 okay now what happens if you want to use this? Well you can do, you can easily use that. What you need to do is go back to your VirtualBox Manager, click on New, and then create your Windows 7, whatever it was. This one's 32-bit. We'll just call this Test, go Next, give it some memory, Next, and then here you will see uh, a list of stuff to do. We're going to click on use an existing virtual hard drive. I'm going to click on this one and then you want to go to users and then your account and you can see the uh, VirtualBox VMs here. Click on that, go into Windows 7 and point to that file, click open and then create and we should be able to fire this straight up like so and there you have your copy of Windows installed on the system okay and you can see it's booting up there now if you look here under the, the uh, operating system you just created you'll see that it is a VHD version okay it's been converted okay so I hope that helps you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos then hit the uh, thumbs up guys it really does help me out also the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos so with that, have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video. Any video requests, leave them in the comments section below. Bye for now.